Hello, and welcome to Lake Street News. I'm your host, Zach. And I'm Evan. This week, we cover Ithaca Loves Teachers Week, some good DWI news, some shaky stuff happening in Buffalo, and some horsing around on the streets of Ithaca. Hey teachers, did you register for Ithaca Loves Teachers Week? If not, there's still time. The Ithaca community comes together every February to celebrate educators with entertainment, activities, family fun, and discounts throughout Tompkins County. This is a time that teachers use to rest, recharge, and spend time with their families. Some teachers say that it's the only time of the year that they can afford to eat out in Ithaca. So teachers, get out there and take advantage of the deals. And thank you for all that you do for us. Attention drunk drivers, your time is officially up. New York lawmakers want to lower the threshold for driving while intoxicated from 0.08 blood alcohol content to 0.05 blood alcohol content. This is to ensure that the roads are as safe as possible for pedestrians and other drivers. Penalties for breaking this law can result in a $5,000 fine and a revoked license for 18 months. The main reason for this new change is to discourage drinking and driving more than was previously done. Hopefully now, there will be less boozing and more cruising. Oh my god, why is the earth shaking so much? Buffalo, New York recently had a 3.8 magnitude earthquake, the largest one recorded in 40 years. An Erie County executive, Mark Polencar, stated, quote, it felt like a car hit my house in Buffalo. I jumped out of bed." End quote. There has been no reported damage in West Seneca so far. All we know is that it was either the earth that caused this or someone who ate too much Taco Bell. It's a car. It's a bus. Wait, no, no, it's just a horse. A horse was seen standing in the middle of State Street as it remained calm while traffic moved around it. Fortunately, the horse was fine and Ithaca police took care of the incident quickly. Let me tell you though, if I was there, I would have 100% taken the horse home with me. Last Thursday, an ICSD bus was making its morning route through Brookdendale when the bus lost control and went off the side of the road into a tree. The driver suffered a hand injury, but none of the nine students on the bus were hurt. All right, thanks for sitting through this episode of Lake Street News. We really hope you didn't already hear most of these stories. We'll be back with you after a break when we hope something interesting happens so we can tell you in the next episode. All right, this has been Lake Street News. Yeah, thank you. See ya. Happy Valentine's Day as we're recording this. The horse is here.